Alrighty, this is G.I. Joe. Oh, ho, ho, yes. Anyways, I have a sore throat, so my review might have to be redone in the future. <clears throat> Did take some salt and some uh, you mix tomato juice, olive oil, fresh garlic, and uh, put some ginger in there, and it seemed to actually help right away. Plus some salt and some Montreal steak spice. <laughs> but, you know, anyways. So, without further ado, we do have some figures. Oh, yes. Now, <clears throat> this one here, I already have, and that is Dojo. And he is part of the uh, G.I. Joe team. Although he looks more like a bandit. <laughs> He's got like the Zero mask on. Just needs the hat. <laughs> Anyways, with this Ninja Force line, they were, you know, pretty cheap. They didn't uh, put a screw in the back. Hasbro, you suck for doing that. And when you start switching up your figures and stuff, that's why people stopped collecting. Because like, oh, great. I can't get anything new. Or when you switch the size. Now Slice, I did have as a kid. And Dice, I already have. And then I got another Dice. On top of the other Dice that I have. So I have another Dice over there. So I have three Dices. <laughs> They're all the Dice. <laughs> Anyways, like I said, the same thing with all these figures for Ninja Force. You can't drill in the back. Or put a screw in the back. I've tried. I took apart one of the uh, storm shadows that I had. That I had. Actually, I might have taken apart two of them. <laughs> hmm. So you can use the arms and legs for something else. But the uh, and the heads kind of work, but some of them don't. <clears throat> oh man, should have taken some gum or something. But anyways, my throat is very sore. Now. I needed slice, so that's the one I just got. And I didn't. I had this one as a kid, though, nunchuck. But I did not get his nunchucks. <laughs> but I, I wouldn't recommend his nunchucks because they might be a little too big. And these do have some gimmicks here. You know, with their arms and stuff. And uh, there was a video where they showed how to fix these. I don't know if it was Kevin or BX4 from uh, 257. He did have a good one on, on the his tank. And, uh, you know, Kevin, if you're out there, hey, you know, drop us all a line. We miss you, buddy. Unless you died, <laughs> you never know. Uh, divorce. <laughs> Anyways. This is the Storm Shadow. I had him as a kid. And well, he does not compare to the original because you can't fix his back. And that's a big issue. Hasbro tries to cheap out, think, oh, well, if they can't fix him, they'll buy more. <laughs> they can't fix him, they don't buy any. <laughs> so, anyways, these Storm Shadows and stuff, they do yellow over time. I have quite a few of them, and huh, I would like to compare something though, because the uh, Ninja Force line came out in 1992, and they said it was made in China. Well, 1990, yeah, 1992, and you know, Snake Eyes was not the first ninja, because he was a commando first. He didn't become a ninja until after. But anyways. Storm Shadow's the first ninja. 788H, HCC 788, Hilly Cobra Commander. That's right, buddy. And I was doing videos way before Kevin was. But I had my Star Wars collection then. <laughs> and I did have G.I. Joe. So, anyways, enough of that. I do love, I do enjoy Hilly Cobra Commander's videos. And well, a number of people out there, oh, there's a lot of videos that I do watch. I watch G.I. Joburg, I watch What's On Your Mind, 
Oh man, there's so many other ones to name. I do watch a lot of people's videos. But I watch it on the phone. So anyways. Also this he heel viper. Is it he heel viper? Heel viper. <laughs> it's hard to pronounce when you have a sore throat. Anyways, the heel heel viper. Oh, the heel viper is cool. Hmm. He looks like this snow serpent. And well, he is pretty much, but he's got a different chest piece. Hmm, that is pretty freaking awesome. I do like the snow serpent, and I don't mind the royal purple. So, huh, interesting choice. He would and does look good in black. So, let's see. Now, one thing is, these are broken off on his leg. But other than that, he doesn't look too bad. He might need a new O-ring if his hands wobbly. But over the, overall, he's a nice looking figure. I love my snow serpents. Oh well, anyways. Friggin' I love the red. It's not, not bad at all. They could have did red and black like the Iron Grenaders. Iron Grenadiers, I always call them Grenaders. <laughs> Iron Grenadiers. Now, this is pretty neat. But someone said each leg was different, so you never know what you get on eBay. I could have got the same legs. <laughs> I'll have to crack them open and check sometime. But he stands good. People complain that he doesn't stand well. He stands just fine. There's no sticky tacks under there. So, I don't know. Maybe if he's got the, both of the same legs, it works. <laughs> But he does move, and you can put your Cobra figure in here. And like I said, who came out with that uh, Super 7 reaction? 125. Guess what, Super 7? You can get the vintage for like 50 bucks, or you know, anywhere from 50 to 100. <laughs> so, Super 7, you're way overpriced. That's right, for the snake body armor. Which also acts as a robot. I do believe in one of the episodes. It took over. Um. I forget. One of the Joes. Anyways. Also. Now I just ended up getting a Rat Pack. A uh, lot. Just to see. And I did not know how friggin tiny these things were. I thought they were like bigger. But these things are friggin tiny. This one looks cool. But it doesn't roll too well. I mean, people review the heck out of these things, and you know, I, mean, I don't know. I th <laughs> they look like a McDonald's toy. <laughs> Pretty cheap. <sighs> this one's missing the uh, fins here, but I, I don't know what I have for parts. So I may have because I do end up getting extra parts and lots sometimes. And this one, <laughs> it's like, what the hell? I thought it had all the missiles. But I guess it didn't have any of the backing pieces, so I had a spare part. <laughs> it's like, gee, thanks a lot. But I didn't read the uh, the Seymour. <laughs> I should have took a better look at the picture. But anyways, it was just a cheap lot. So in the future, I might get some of that. But I mean, you could use this stuff for customs too. Like this comes right up, right out. So you can use a special launcher when you make a custom. Maybe drill a hole on my flag and put it on there. But I'd have to add something there. And anyways, we've got the Gabra Ninja Viper. Oh yes, we have him. So we're going to have to take a look here. Why the frick would... Oh, there it is. Alright, so they shoved this in here. Probably ended up wrecking the card if you shove something in because it's super stiff. Gee, unpunched. Really? How do you get an unpunched card? Huh? We'll have to take a look. So now 1992 and 
China was making these. So you can see the exactly the same. Similar. Hmm. But anyways, this is freaking awesome. A hundred dollars for this storm shadow. Now he does look similar. So you'd be able to tell if they uh if they made a copy or painted. Hmm. Definitely 1992. The flesh tone looks like it's painted on this one. But that's probably how the Ninja Viper was. But this one, whereas you have the regular Storm Shadows, flesh tone's not painted. And it's also made in China. So is this a repo? Because how do you have an unpunched card? You know what I mean? Reproductions. It looks too feels kind of weird when you actually have the old school to feel so I wonder if this was a reproduction but it says everything made and printed in Hong Kong hmm <coughs> so the only way to figure that out is if this was like <laughs> someone just trying to rip you off and they painted a storm shutter but you can see the head sculpt not the same and the head is thinner so it's definitely the 1992 so it might not be a repo or reproduction because the head is also thinner on this storm shadow now hmm, they have the mail away one People are selling anywhere from four to a thousand dollars, and yet I just got this one. <laughs> you could take this out of the package, get the file card, and then it's the same. It's exactly the same. But it's kind of strange to find unpunched cards. You know what I mean? Hmm. But I'm pretty sure that is friggin' cool. I've wanted that for a long time. And then we have the Cobra Viper. Cobra Viper. <laughs> I don't know how well this is coming in, but 1983 Cobra Viper. That's right. This is friggin' awesome. I always wanted one. I got the Cobra Soldier. So we had to. Oh! Black Major Customs it. Because I am not paying $400 for a figure or 500 or 600 Sometimes I do go a little bit overboard. Maybe the odd time it's $100, but most of the time I don't bother. So we had to get a Black Major Customs. Oh, yes. And the actual head sculpt for that Black Major Customs was this one. Which kind of sucks. So it wasn't as good. For the uh, Black Major Customs head sculpt for the Cobra Soldiers. They don't look as good for this one. I mean, he does have better ones, but I just want to make myself a Viper Pilot. And it is, it's rare, it's a Viper Pilot. So we're going to conclude everything because we're out of time. And I do have a sore throat.